When the president took office last year, he inherited an economy that was losing 700,000 jobs a month. He inherited an economy in which the total output of America had dropped by over 6%. And he inherited an economy in which nearly $10 trillion in wealth, and that includes some of your investments as tribes, $10 trillion in wealth had been lost in the stock market, which was on a steady downward spiral. That $10 trillion in lost economic value has affected people's pensions, their retirement, their college funds for their children, and the wealth and the investments of tribes as well. We were on the precipice of a second Great Depression, a depression that my grandfather and my father lived through. But President Obama acted swiftly to rescue, rebuild, and restore our economy. We worked to get lending flowing again. The President enacted measures to stem the tide of foreclosures in our housing market and extended assistance to banks and financial institutions. We also enacted the most sweeping economic recovery package in history, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, also known as the Stimulus Bill which included some $3 billion to rebuild and renovate schools on Indian reservations. As a result of these and other steps, we're in a far different, a far better position today than we were one year ago. The Recovery Act has led to the creation or saving of some 2.4 million jobs according to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, which even Republicans and Democrats rely on in terms of economic figures. And this has also been supported and reaffirmed by independent economic, uh, economic groups. But we all know that despite the signs of hopeful recovery, unemployment is unacceptably high. As far as the President is concerned, recovery is not complete until every American who wants a job has a job. And that includes people in Indian country. The President will not be satisfied until Indian country is part of America's prosperity. And the first Americans will not be the last Americans in this economic recovery.